is it difficult to, um, when you make firstly a song in Greek, then to make it in English, in order to sound uh, it, 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 it's, it's a very, might be the one of the best questions I've ever had. To be honest, because it's it's sometimes it's very difficult to remake a song or rewrite the lyrics in a song uh, uh, from, for example, from English to Greek or to Greek to English, um, and it's it's because of the syllables. Like um, English has shorter syllable uh, or shorter words. Like in Greek, in Greek we have very long words, so it's really difficult to do it. So. We need to have a very good author, you know, when they're writing the lyrics. What about in Swedish? Uh, Swedish is more similar to the English language we, because we have a shorter, shorter words. It's from almost the same group, group of languages. Yes, yes, yes. Which is your favorite song that you have written? Oh, oh <laughs> no, it's, it's so difficult to answer that question. It's really, really difficult. Oh. I mean, <laughs> top, I mean, I mean, as an artist, I feel like all my songs are my babies. <laughs> uh, but I think that uh, my number one is this the the song that made me connect even more with people. There is a, a song called "Iparchi Logos." There is a reason. It's called in, in if I translate it, um, which is a ballad, a classic ballad. And then, of course, I, I love my new song, "The Mutale Kala." <laughs> you're you're gonna hear it tonight. It's gonna be released on the 23rd of June on Spotify. Um, will you perform some of your songs from the antique period? Yes, I will. I will. Uh, tonight, I'm gonna perform with uh, Dinata, uh, "Die for You," and "Ali Miafora," which is time to say goodbye. But I, I'm gonna sing it in Greek.